This is Toffler. I write worldvitae.com, the blog you've probably been reading for a while. I'm here on, in Hangzhou on Hefangjie, one of the old historic streets in Hangzhou, Zhejiang, China. In front of us we have Fanghui Chuntang, one of the ancient Hangzhou pharmacies that was founded in 1649 in the Qing Dynasty. It's also one of the locations that we had clinical practice with my university here in Zhejiang, Zhejiang Chinese Medicine University. You can see the inside of the clinic, or the inside of the pharmacy rather. Here's some of the different herbs. And all the different little cabinets where they keep the herbs. We go into the back room of the pharmacy. It's where they keep the more expensive herbs. Xiangjie, what is this? Oh. This is making the life 就看起来年轻，对吧？是的，是来自西藏。哎，对，嗯。Then if we go into the back, there's a lovely garden, and the clinical practice that we had is actually held in some of these rooms, all in the very old traditional Chinese style. We were learning diagnostics here, uh, diagnosing mostly diabetes and heart condition patients. And when you come here, you're welcome to get some free tea or sit out by the garden. Here's where they disperse patent medicines and also Western medicine. All of these along here are the formulas for patent medicines. This character one means round ball or round pill. This is Tafu, World Vita. We're still in Hefangjie in Hangzhou, Zhejiang, China. I'm here at Huqing, Utah. The, one of the most famous traditional Chinese medicine brands in all of this region of China. It's not only one of the oldest, but also one of the most renowned. Uh, they are also the purveyors of the Chinese Medicine Museum here in Hangzhou that I took a lot of videos at before, which you can see on my blog, worldvitae.com. This is not only a pharmacy, but also a clinic. And at this clinic, we also have clinical practice. In fact, this clinic is so popular, they have three clinics back here on these little streets. This doctor specializes in internal medicine, including women's issues, and we are studying diagnostics with them. Here's the entrance to the main pharmacy section. You can see Huqing Yutong was founded in 1874 in the Qing Dynasty. Here again, they have the prescriptions written on the wall for the patent medicines. 
You can see a lot of the doctor's pictures up here. Then in here we get to the pharmacy. This is safflower. Uh, that one's jiao gulan. Here's more of the Chinese patent medicines pre-pressed into pills and packaged for easy buying and consumption. Then this is the original room where I have videos from before. You may remember I have a video of my teacher standing here introducing these, including the He Shou Wu for longevity and strengthening kidney and reducing early graying of hair. In these cases, it compares real and fake Western or American ginseng. This one's real, this one's fake. More samples of various types of ginseng. And this is Zongchong Sha Cao, which is a longevity warm grass that my teacher talked about. This is real, and all the rest of them are fake. So you can learn the difference if you're looking for to buy the raw herbs. Here's all the drawers with all the different medicines in it. When they give them to you, they're packaged sort of like that. You take them home and you boil them up into a decoction. If you're interested in music, the opening hours are 8.30 to 5, and the entrance fee is 10 yuan. There's the entrance to the museum, and you can see the staircase that I filmed the video on before. The clinic where I have clinical practice is through the back alley, around the parking lot, and we feel patients' pulse on nine different points, uh, three points, three levels per point for a total of nine different pulses. We also check their tongue, ask them about their symptoms, and from there make a syndrome diag diagnostic. This is the clinic where I have clinical practice. Some of the doctors speak English here, so if you want, you can come up here. Go inside, go up to this counter, take a number. When you take a number, you'll have to pay a small amount, usually around 10 yuan. After you take your number, then you'll go up these stairs and find your doctor. From here to go back out to Hefangjie, the historical street, with shopping, restaurants, and just a lively atmosphere. You can go out this way. But I think as far as the traditional Chinese medicine, 
I'll sign it off there. It's about predicted to be 99 degrees today with about 7 to 80 percent humidity, so I'm getting hot walking around out in the sun and humidity. Signing off from Hanzo Tzedeyang, worldvitae.com, top floor.